Happy New Year. Oh yeah, Happy New Year. What time <laughs> did I fall asleep at? Uh, I don't know, like 10? <laughs> I like waking up rested on New Year's Day. We are Tyson and Rosa. Currently living full-time in our Dodge Grand Caravan. With our two little dogs keeping us company, we're heading down to Baja. Follow us along today on our cross North America adventure. As we head from Ontario, Canada, down to Mexico, in our converted minivan camper. First morning, waking up in the van. We're in Jackson, Tennessee. I woke up at like six and I was gonna surprise Tyson with coffee from Starbucks, but they didn't open till seven and I never ever open, wake up for Starbucks. So I walked the dogs and I laid in bed for a bit. And now we've got three minutes to go. This is the most annoying part of trying to get under here is doing it and then having the dogs just jump on top and bust it down. Oh, they're not doing it now though. <laughs> Mm. I'm gonna wash my face in the Starbucks washroom. Nice. I'm gonna keep brushing my teeth. Okay. So I just had a really um, like awakening experience just now. Someone just, someone just came up to me with their leftover takeout and asked if I was hungry. And that's really nice. That's really nice. He says, are you sure I'm not going to finish it? But <laughs> um, I, I just felt homeless for a second. And I mean, I understand how it looks. Uh, I just woke up from a minivan in a Walmart parking lot. But I'm doing this for different reasons. And, and he didn't know that. Um, and that was really nice of him to offer me food and really heartwarming, but no thank you. And I understand like how it looks and I've met a lot of people on the road doing this uh, that live this life because they have to. Um, and I'm grateful enough to be able to say like this is this is how I love to travel because I like taking it slow and going city by city and um, this is just more of an adventure for me so uh, I'm very grateful but that was just a very sobering moment I mean he didn't ask me if I was homeless he did ask me if I was hungry and I guess I'm kind of hungry so I could have said yes but he kept insisting that I take his food One of the things you have to figure out is how to get rid of this this humidity. Like, the, it, like it's fine. We've used squeegees before. We didn't bring one. I hate to have to buy another one because, like, I have one at home. Use a napkin, but then it gets all like streaky inside. So, crack a window while we're sleeping? I don't know. Huh. And then cue Rosa coming back with Starbucks. Thank you, friend. Love you. Love you, too. So it's New Year's Day, and we woke up at 6, and feeling fresh, not hungover, ready to start the new year, and I'm kind of excited about that. Mm-hmm. 
I just have something to share with you. Okay. Um, while you were getting Starbucks and I was getting ready, someone came and offered me food. Because they thought you were homeless? Mm -hmm. That's so nice. It was nice. And, he, and I was like, no, and he was like insisting. Aww. And it was like the rest of his takeout. That's really nice, eh? That's really nice. I also feel really embarrassed that people think that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, yeah. But we just gotta own it, because we're seeing the world this way. That is so nice, though. But also, we have to be those, like, people that do nice stuff like that for other people, because we live in our van by choice, but other people do live it because they have to. So, I'm sure someone would, may have actually really needed that food. So, Van Life 2023. This is day one of the year. Um, welcome to the new van. We are in a 2010 Dodge Caravan currently. The check engine light is on. We got the Cadillac converter replaced last week. Catalytic. Oh, catalytic converter replaced last week. And the check engine light uh, went on a few days ago. And it's saying that the Cadillac converter isn't working. So that is our first um, dilemma of 2023. But we'll figure it out. We're on our way down to Mexico. Uh, we just spent the last couple days in Nashville with some friends uh, for a birthday kind of celebration. Uh, and now we are heading south. We want to get this fixed before we cross over the border into Mexico. So we're just kind of planning where we're going to stop and maybe, well, we have to wait until Mondays because our mechanic's going to give us a call. Uh, the person who had repaired the catalytic converter in the first place. So, yeah, we're just kind of playing the waiting game, covering as much distance as we can. <laughs> Might not be the proper thing to do, but that's what we're doing because the car's driving fine. And we're excited to get south because that blizzard that hit was insane. And we don't miss winter at all and we want to get out of it so. so my sister's boyfriend is a mechanic and he said that sometimes it takes a little while for the Cadillac re converter to reset in your system for your car to know that there's not a problem anymore he also said it could have just been a little pin that didn't get connected properly or it could actually be that the Cadillac converter catalytic I keep saying it all wrong and Tyson's like laughing at me um, I'm not laughing, I'm just smiling, because yeah. you're so cute. <laughs> he said that that could actually be a botched part, but apparently, as long as the check engine light isn't flashing, we don't have to worry too much. When it starts flashing, that's when we know that there's a big problem. So correct me if I'm wrong, but that's the information I got, and I'm going with that. When it comes to Mexico, everything that we've read in Baja is that the mechanics are absolutely amazing. They are so much cheaper than the US and Canada. The only downside is that they don't have all of the parts. So that's why we wanna get it looked at before we go over to Mexico. Um, but my backup plan is if we do have any issues in Mexico, we will go to a mechanic and Tyson's parents are visiting us in February. So I will get his dad to bring a part that we need. That's my backup plan. So we're just crossing Tennessee and getting into Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And I think we might go check out Ozark National Forest for a nice little hike. Oh, they're rich. 
rich, let's steal their stuff. People are like, oh, they look hungry, let's not rob them. It's not like we brought a bunch of really expensive stuff anyways, because I know when I was packing, I was like, eh, could I really, would I, would, how, how mad would I feel if we got robbed and this was taken? And so that was really nice because it kept things a lot simpler for packing. Just, just a bunch of socks in here. If you want socks, come and get them. And I don't have anything worth stealing in the first place. <laughs> So just to touch on this catalytic converter problem, um, we bought the van safety and uh, on our way home the check engine light came back on. And what we always do when we buy a used vehicle is we get it checked uh, just another once over by our preferred mechanic. Um, this time we used a, a different mechanic uh, for this process, but anyways we uh, had this person, uh, our, our person check it out. And there was just a couple things that didn't quite seem right, so we confronted the person who had sold us uh, this car that was certified safety, uh, whatever. So there was some extra work that needed to be done. The catalytic converter did get replaced, and now the check engine light came on again. So I bought one of those little like code scanners uh, just to see what the problem was, so I can you know diagnose things on the road and maybe even fix them myself if I can. Uh, this. It's, it, so it's the same code for the catalytic converter, which uh, our mechanic had, set, had mentioned that it could potentially be a, uh, a, there's a minor exhaust leak that could be causing the code. So I'm hoping that's what it is. I know I did some research into it, and I know that it's, you just have to really keep an eye and, a, and an open mind about how the car's driving, um, and if uh, the performance you know, is, is there's a noticeable decline, you should get it fixed immediately. Right now we're just waiting because it's New Year's, uh, can't really get in anywhere, so we're just kind of making sure that we're aware of, uh, you know, how the car feels, how it's driving, everything seems to be operating just as normal, so it might just be something as like a, as simple as a, a minor exhaust leak. Uh, we're very optimistic that it's not gonna be a huge issue. Just got to keep putting that positive energy out into the universe, you know? The tire sensor light just went on, so we're pulling over quick. The tire pressure sensor thing um, is actually really common in Dodge Caravans our age. And with our last Dodge Caravan, that happened fairly frequently when there was actually no issue with the tire. But we do have a tire inflator, a little mini one in the van so we will be fine but we're just pulling over to be safe. I was starting to have to pee anyway so I guess I'll do that. <laughs> I don't know wherever you stop I'll go. So tire pressure is good in all the tires uh, but I always keep like a patch kit just in case uh, which is handy. Uh, so I just busted out my tire kit uh, and check the pressure with one of these bad boys. Pressure's good in all four of the tires, but it's really good to have one of these patch kits anyways. And then the inflator that Rosa was telling you about is really cool. It's this, uh, just this little tiny compressor and it has a little attachment here that hooks up and I'll show you. So it's just like a nice little compact emergency inflator. It does take uh, a while to inflate a tire, but uh, I have topped up all four tires using this bad boy before. I'll see if I can get you a link, but that's the, that's the thing. So today was a 12 hour driving day. My hair's all messy. I'm just changed back into my PJs and we're just cooking a little ramen little cup of noodle and we found a spot at a really really clean rest stop so this is just outside of Dallas and um, I'm actually gonna take you inside to show you because it's so clean and I have to fill my water the girlies are just having a little snack and then they're gonna hang out outside while Tyson warms up some water
great news. We reset the check engine light this morning and we drove 12 hours and it haven't, hasn't come back on yet. So I'm really hoping that it's the scenario that is that the engine or, or the, uh, yeah, the check engine light just needed to run a couple cycles to let the car know that the um, catalytic converter was fixed. Just getting our meal going here. Look at this, look at this fancy kitchen, fancy wife, fancy dogs. <laughs> Fancy me. Um, the beautiful thing is it's January 1st and I'm wearing a t-shirt and the weather's so nice. What do you think? It's perfect. She's cozy. Yeah. Um, also, we didn't we didn't end up going to Ozark National Forest today. We just kept driving through. Wanted to kind of get through the Dallas-Fort Worth area uh, so we didn't have to go through like rush hour traffic or anything. So we're just popped out on the other side. We're just like almost to Sweetwater, Texas, uh, at a beautiful brand new rest stop. Mm -hmm. And even though we can cook outside the van, we just decided that we were going to set up shop here so that we could spend a little bit more time outside and the dogs could get fresh air. And got these little Costco cups. Chef Wu. <laughs> Chef Wu. Yeah, we're just kind of in a get to Mexico kind of mood right now so we're just trying to save time where we can and these things come in handy because this water boiled in like two minutes and we're eating soon. They're surprisingly satisfying too. <laughs> we have eaten way too much of these lately. Oh my gosh are you okay? Yeah. Lily get out of there you are not standing under him. I moved her. This is a bad idea. <laughs> We headed to bed early so we could wake up and hit the road first thing in the morning. With the help of a little coffee in the morning, we ended up hitting the road. This concludes part one of our American leg on our cross North America road trip down to Mexico. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.